so and then so i can hear myself okay <clears throat> let's do this a hero is not someone who's born with a talent and therefore learns to run faster than every man in the world or who is born with the biggest vocal range, or who wakes up smiling every day with no dark thoughts. That's effortless, lazy and safe, and has nothing to do with heroism. The hero is the one who beats the odds, who chooses to not take the conventional road just because that's where he's expected to be. The hero takes the road no one thought he would, hearing people screaming no behind him but keeps walking anyway, because the hero is the one who does what people thought he could not do. It's about creating your own character and pushing it to the limits. It's about pushing yourself so far out of your own and everybody else's idea of who you are and what you're capable of, that you no longer believe in limits. It's about reaching beyond your so-called potential. Because your potential is never where you or anyone else expects it to be. Not even close. I started this journey in an attempt to create a life worth writing about. And this is when I make the choice to share it with you. Because a story is born when it's being told. I'm climbing the mountain and this is where I have built my home. This mountain is my life. And the top is the end. And I am here to tell you about my way there. I'm here to tell you about all these beautiful things I get to see and these glorious experiences I have. The views, the ocean, the flowers, how the air is changing with every step. About all the people I meet on my way up. The ones that want to give up. The ones that are on their way down, defeated. The ones that stopped halfway to enjoy the surroundings and never got going again. But most of all, I'm here to kill your hero. I'm here to tell you about the real climb. The real mountain. The stepping stones that break. The beasts that no one warned me about. The storm that killed my fire and stole my friends. I want to tell you about all the friends and dreams and beliefs I've lost on the way. But also about the new beliefs I have. The new dreams I have realized. The new friends I've met. Friends who taught me lessons, showed me how to share and told me stories I never thought I would hear. How I have experienced energy. How the hands of two people can create a fire so strong that my tired little heart started to race like it has never done before. I want to tell you about leavings and apologies and a missing so strong that you literally want to take a knife and cut your heart out. About how it never gets easier to say goodbye, no matter how many times you do it, and how I would like to spend my life arriving in new cities every morning. I want to tell you about real love, so poetic I could write thousands of poems and never-ending novels about it. And how it all stops when you lose that love. How the world keeps spinning, the people keep walking, the tube keeps running, but my world stopped. And how I couldn't see how I could possibly exist again. But how you keep on walking anyway, because what else is there to do? How I gave myself away with every word I sang, to every fan I gained, to every critic I met. And finally, how I learned that all I ever need is to belong to myself. To live with myself and be okay with that. The rarest thing in the world. First chapter done.